top 
this card from your graveyard to your hand. This has one one. Next is Blood Fray the Giant, a red giant creature with trample and unleash. You may have this creature enter the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. It can't block as long as it has a plus one plus one counter on it. It has four three. Next is Call of the Conclave, a green-white sorcery. Create a 3-3 green centaur creature token. Boros Elite is a white human soldier creature with battalion whenever Boros Elite and at least two other creatures attack. Boros Elite gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. It regularly has one, one. is Bulwark Giant, a white giant soldier creature. When Bulwark Giant enters the battlefield, you gain five life. It has three six. Next is Siege Worm, a green worm creature with Convoke. Your creatures can help cast this spell. Each creature you tap while casting the spell plays for one one mana of that creature's color. It also has Trample and 5-5. Five, five. Next is Repeal, a blue instant. Return target non-land permanent with mana value X to its owner's hand. Draw a card. Next is Blade Brand, a black instant. Target creature gains death touch until end of turn. Draw a card. And then finally we have Gringo's Command, a red sorcery. Create two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens. Interesting. Okay. I can see some of these being used in some of my regular decks. Spells you control can't be countered. Non-token 
creatures you control have riot. They enter the battlefield with your choice of a plus one, plus one counter or haste. Judge's Familiar is a blue-white bird creature with flying. Sacrifice Judge's Familiar to counter target instant or sorcery spell unless its controller pays one mana. This has one one. Then we have a blind hunter, a white black creature, a bat creature to be specific. I really love the use of blues in this. Now, blind hunter has flying as well as haunt. When this creature dies, exile it. Haunting target creature. Blind Hunter enters the battlefield, or the creature it haunts dies. Target player loses two life, and you gain two life. This card is 2 2. Glow Spore Shaman is a green black elf shaman creature. Ooh, interesting. When Glow Spore Shaman enters the battlefield, mill three cards. You may put a land card from your graveyard on top of your library. This has 3-1. Next is Wild Cantor, a red-green human druid creature. Sacrifice Wild Cantor, add one mana of any color. This has 1-1. One, one. Next is Blade Juggler, a black human rogue creature. Spectacle, 2 mana and a black mana. You may cast this spell for its spectacle cost, rather than its mana cost, if an opponent lost life this turn. When Blade Juggler enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to you, and you draw a card. It has 3-2. Next is another Krinko's Command, so create two one one Goblin Creature Tokens. Next we have Arrestor's Zeal, an instant is white. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. An addendum. If you cast this spell during your main phase, that creature gains flying until end of turn. Next, we have forced landing is a green instant. Put target creature with flying on the bottom of the owner's library. Oh, interesting. Vidalkin Mesmerist is a blue Vidalkin wizard creature. Whenever Vidalkin Mesmerist attacks, dark creature an opponent controls gets minus two, minus zero until end of turn. This creature has two, one. And then finally we have Balistrade Spy, a vampire rogue creature that is black with flying. When Balistrade Spy enters the battlefield, dark player reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a land card, then put those cards into their graveyard. It has two, three. Okay, that is... Those are interesting. Those are some interesting cards. I like those. I really enjoyed looking at some of these cards. this video.